Hi, I'm Henny, Minitoyo's data management and MeasureLink sales engineer. And today we'll be talking about 20 new features in MeasureLink 9 in under six minutes. Let's start off in Process Analyzer. Process Analyzer has a great new function, a dynamic chart. It's a calculator, it's called the Tolerance Calculator. So here I have my CMM test part. I'll click on the Tolerance Calculator into my data tab. And like I said, we have this nice dynamic chart here. I can go ahead and adjust my tolerance limits and we'll see that we'll end up adjusting all my capability indices here. So I can start to see if my tolerances change, what's that gonna do to my capability index? What we can also do is we can set a target index as well. So if I have a CPK and I wanna target a 1.67 for example, what is that gonna do to my tolerances? What sort of tolerances do I need to have and maintain to keep everything at that target 1.67 with all my existing data. So this can really help design engineers and production really determine what it is that they are capable of doing and what do they need to change to get there. Staying inside of Process Analyzer, we also have what's called a filter of the tree for gauges and notes. So for example, I can click on my MeasureLink demo here. I can click on my filter go to my gauge, and maybe I'm gonna do an audit on these gauges here, and I wanna find out all the different runs that have used those gauges. And so now I can see I have my MeasureLink Demo 1 run, and those were the only, that was the only data that I've ever used for those gauges. So that'll help me there. I can pull a report if I wanted to there as well. In addition, inside of Process Analyzer, we have performance enhances. So you'll see Process Analyzer will move a lot quicker. You'll see performance enhances actually pretty much everywhere inside of MeasureLink, inside of real time, request to the database, all that kind of stuff. You're gonna see MeasureLink is gonna go super, super fast. We'll also see a probability charts filter inside of Process Analyzer as well. So if you've used the probability charts, you can run a filter on that information. Inside the gauge management module, you can create a model from an existing gauge. So if you have these gauges that you've already created inside of, inside of your library, you can create a model from them to help you create new gauges without having to retype in all the same information. So creating gauges from a model are gonna be a great new way to do that. And now you can do it from the existing gauges as well. You also see a new help uh, a new help function inside of MeasureLink. It runs on HTML5, so you'll see a brand new user inf interface. You'll see improved search functions in there. Uh, let's take a look at the box plot. So the box plot, that'll be available in your reports. It'll be available in real time. So over here, we'll see that we have a new uh, box plot here that you can use to help you analyze some data there. We also have a percent from target. So here we can see the last measurement I took was about 36% from target. On my length, it was about 98% from target. So those are gonna be really useful uh, to know basically how far from target you are and really how close you are to your tolerances as well. We also have new statistics as well. So we have a PPU and a PPL index as well that you can use. We have support for OPCUA which is gonna be a new DAQ source you can have. So if you want to connect to an OPC UA server, you can collect data from that. You can collect data from QIF 3.0. We support that QIF in and QIF out. So for example, if you wanna import a QIF plan, you can do that and it'll create all of your MeasureLink parts and routines. And then you can send data out through QIF in an XML format that uh, you know, machines can read, other software can read. So if you want to transfer this information in and out, you'll be able to do that through QIF 3.0. We also have a permits function in Security Center. So let's jump into Security Center here and we'll see that we have this new permits option. So you can create different permits to give different users access to certain parts. So for example, if you have ITAR restricted parts and maybe only the admin is allowed to use that, you can go into your support center, go to your part library, and we have this new permits tab that you can require a permit for it. So anyone who's not the user who has that permission to do that, they won't be able to see any of the information inside of the part library for, for that part that has that restricted access. Let's see, we also have a part defective option. So you can add that uh, to real time and to your reports. So basically you'll know how many in your run had defective parts in there. 
You can add multiple assignable causes too. So before we only supported one assignable cause. Now if a part goes out of spec, you can say it's out of cause. You know, it's, I'm gonna assign a cause because of X, Y, and Z. And let's see, finally, I, our last feature is gonna be collection scheduler, a brand new module added to MeasureLink version nine so you can keep track of the schedule of all your data collection. So I'll go to my modules, I'll go to my collection scheduler module here and I can see that I have some, uh, some parts that are due for measurement here. So I gotta take a measurement here for this job and that job and I see over here that this one's in warning and I need to take a measurement there very soon. So now operators can keep track of multiple machines and multiple jobs, making sure that all their inspections are being taken on time. And there you have it, that's 20 new features in under six minutes.